Let's go to Germany where we're going to see the aquaponic system of Andris who is following this channel. So today we are going to visit Andris who uh, built his own aquaponic system in his garage. He read the book The Art of Aquaponics and then from there he built his own aquaponic system. And we're going to have a look at the system and see what, is, what are the good points and the points to Im improve in the future. Just before, if you haven't got the free aquaponics training, I recommend you to get it from the description of this video just below or from the eye like information on the corner of this video. Hi Jonathan, here are my Andres. So this is how it looks like. So in my basement in uh, Germany now we have 17.9 degrees here. Good for rainbow trout, maybe cooler would be better. So basically you have these grow beds as you see. The water is not really coming up here, so the algae is not growing. The moisture starts to be somewhere here, a little bit lower. So I did uh, these things uh, in the middle because uh, um, it's basically just pipe, you know. And the pipe collects the water and then this all is connected to this here so and then I have my bell siphon and you see it's a little bit advanced there's something here below to suck in the air faster and uh, stopping bell siphon so we can see that Andres is having three grow beds and they all link to one bell siphon. I think that's a really good idea because it minimizes the number of bell siphons that you're going to have. And as you may know, the bell siphon is a very technical part. So if you design it well, it's going to work really well. But it's easier to design one and to take care of one, system, one mechanism, one bell siphon, instead of three of them. So good on you, um, Andres. That's very interesting to see this variation and to see one bell siphon for all the bell, uh, for all the different crow beds. Very, very good idea. Very interesting to see. And of course, fish tank with uh, built um, Venturi on Venturi. So, but I made a big mistake, <laughs> not really, but uh, just miscalculated. I have here grow light, as you see, and uh, it just, in Germany, so expensive. If I held these grow lights in, in room and there are no windows here, and um, I should put it outside. But I will move now to another country, to Latvia, and I will put it there outside because here neighbors are not happy if I put it outside here and then they will always feel like they need to go to toilet because it's always flowing and flowing and flowing. So yes, Andris, as you highlighted, uh, you need some light to grow some food, obviously, right? So uh, that's the principle of having a garden, the principle of growing plants. They need light because they need some, uh, some light for the photosynthesis to be able to uh, transform uh, the food in energy. So right now, uh, you, have, you are growing some, I mean, you have positioned your aquaponic system into your garage, which is uh, an area that is first not very well aerated. So if you have some condensation, you know, you got, uh, you got some, uh, some evaporation from the aquaponic system. So all this air is going to remain in the garage. So first, I hope you have a good uh, ventilation in the garage because it's still, it's, it seems to be a quite narrow area, not, not too high. So you need a lot of ventilation, right? Otherwise, you're going to have some condensation, some moisture. It's not going to be the best for, for, the, for the building by itself. Then the second thing, obviously, you need some light. So um, that's why 
I like to have my aquaponic systems outside because obviously the light from the sun is free. If you are indoor, that's okay. If you can put the system near a window, it's going to help. But you also need to add some artificial lightning. So most of the time I recommend to use LED. So you need to find some lights that are uh, re reproducing what the sunlight is, right? So you got different frequencies of light. You need to get the one that is adapted to the growth uh, of the plants that you want to grow. Um, so LED uh, is one of the systems that is very um, sustainable because it's, it, uh, it's not too expensive to buy, but it lasts uh, a lot in the time. You don't have to change the light too often. So that's one of the options you have. If really uh, the electricity is too expensive where you live, you can always add some solar panels on the roof or just put the setup outside. That's a really good idea. So now you were saying that the neighbors may be complaining about the noise. That's something that uh, can happen sometimes, but really the noise of an aquaponic system shouldn't be something that is too bad. It's just some water running. So most of people really enjoy it. So maybe instead of assuming, maybe just ask your neighbors if it would be a, a problem for them to hear a bit of water. Most of them really like to have the sound of water. When I receive people around and they hear the noise of the aquaponic system, of the water dropping, they really enjoy it. They, they think it's really relaxing and it basically masks the other noise that you can have in a city. So sometimes it's much better to hear the noise of water dropping than hearing the noise of cars if you have a road just nearby. So that's a discussion that you may have with them. Otherwise, yes, if you move to another country, or if you move to another place, uh, just get the system outside. That's the most sustainable way to do it. Thank you very much for uh, your book. Uh, and that really helped me to build it and to think about several things that I didn't uh, think about. So I made many mistakes. I have full full of pipes left and so on. I have tried to grow some, grow something but it grow with long legs as I told you and I used this iron folicine it's like EDDHA 6% and um, so hoping it will grow and also the rock dust I, I had a rock dust here somewhere is here a rock dust so and the water actually turned black because of the eisen uh, at a uh, eisen uh, in german uh, eisen iron and um i think it it uh, will it ever will it ever get back to the normal color that is a something I haven't understood so far. In terms of iron, there are a lot of different chelated irons that are available uh, on, on the market. And what I recommend is to use the DTPA iron. So the DTPA iron is one type of chelated iron that is not toxic, but also that is not going to color your water. So the water is going to stay, remain crystal clear. While a lot of other iron, when you add them into the water, they adapt it to a certain pH. And when you put them into your aquaponic system, which has a pH around seven and sometimes a bit acidic, um, when you add the, 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 the powder into the system, into the water, some of it is oxidized and it's going to basically turn your water uh, as a yellow or dark and you can't really see the fish anymore. So that's quite of a shame. The crucial part is obviously to make sure that it's not toxic. So regarding the iron that you have, uh, I can't really comment on this specific type of iron, but if your water is turning dark, uh, I would recommend to use the DTPA one. That's really the one that is the most adapted to aquaponics. But yeah, as you see, I have some electrics here also, and that should increase electrics, electronics. When I, when the power is off, I bought, uh, as you brought in your book, I brought some uh, extra pump, and it will work on a relay. Relay, probably it's called. And uh, when the electricity is not there, relay turns on the uh, car battery and the pump starting to work so this is how it looks like and yeah i will just build it away now and rebuild it in latvia and build it outside somewhere maybe in a winter garden so that yeah i can 
have it in a normal sun I don't need to pay for this light right so and still have also my small in indoors but something indoors with uh, with windows because otherwise it will be expensive so thanks for watching my long video so here is me again bye so having a backup system, backup electric system with another pump is really good. So if the power turned down, shut down, uh, you always have uh, some aeration in your tank and your fish can survive for during this time. So good on you Andris, it's not always very easy to get it, but you put a good system in place. That's a really, really good point. So thank you again Andris, uh, very nice video. Uh, I think your system is very interesting, you have some very very interesting points, uh, some nice grow beds, uh, a, a fish tank. The fish tank seems not so big but I have some trouble to really see the size really of the, uh, of the fish tank on the video. So if you can uh, leave a comment uh, below and let us know what is the size of the fish tank and how did you go with the trout, did they grow well, what size, how long did they take to grow, that would be very interesting. Uh, but really overall I really congratulate you that's a very interesting system designed well um, unfortunately as you said uh, it's inside so you don't have access to enough light so we can't see any veggies growing and that's really the point of aquaponics is to to grow some plants so um, if you can put it outside if you can really grow some plants and having a real aquaponic system when you have a real ecosystem that would be fantastic the real principle of aquaponics is to have a whole ecosystem and to grow fish to have some bacteria but also to grow some plants so if you can put your system outside and grow this whole ecosystem that would be super cool and if you want to make another video whenever you uh, you build your new system outside that will be interesting i wish you the best and a very good success in the future now if you are watching this uh, video and you are new to the channel please subscribe you can uh, receive one video every week and you can also get the free aquaponics training from the description of the video just below or from the eye like information on the corner of the video i see you in the next video and bye bye don't forget to get your free gift from this screen you can also leave me a comment below the video subscribe to the channel and see my last video i really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!